In this video, we're going to look at the laws of indices. In this video, we're going to look at the laws of indices that really go up to grade C, so the ones that are on the foundation paper, but also you'll need them for the higher paper. And then in the next video, the laws of indices advanced, so you're going to look at the ones that are mainly on the higher GCSE paper. Okay, so law one. If you've got x to the power of a, and you times it by x to the power of b, you get x to the power of a plus b. In other words, you add the two powers together, and you'll find the new power. Let's look at an example to see why that's the case. So if you had a to the power of 3, and you times it by a to the power of 2, well, a cubed is a times a times a. And you're going to multiply that by a squared, which is a times a. So altogether, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 a's, so that would be a to the power of 5. So in other words, when you multiply these together, you get a to the power of 5. And if you notice, if you do 3 plus 4, you get 5. You can look at other examples here, why that's the case, but the law is x to the power of a times x to the power of b is x to the power of a plus b. Okay, so if you had another example, so like say for something for instance like um, y to the power of 4 times y to the power of 8, you would add the power, so you get y to the power of 4 plus 8 is 12. So that would be y to the power of 12. Okay, so law 2 is x to the power of a divided by x to the power of b is equal to x to the power of a minus b. In other words, you subtract the power, so you do a subtract b to find the new power. Let's look at an example and see why that's the case. So if you had a to the power of 5 and you divide it by a to the power of 3, well, you've got a to the power of 5, so that's a times a times a times a times a. And you're going to divide that by a cubed, which is a times a times a. Well, a divided by a is 1, so they cancel. a divided by a is 1, and a divided by a is 1. So in other words, you're left with a times a, which is a squared. And if you notice, if you do 5, subtract 3, you get your 2, your power. So you're going to get a to the power of 5 divided by a to the power of 3 is a to the power of 2. So another example, if you had y to the power of 8 divided by y to the power of 4. Well, again, you subtract the powers. Let's write that 4 a bit better. 4. Okay, you subtract the powers, so you're going to get y to the power of 4. The most common wrong answer would be y to the power of 2, because some people divide the powers, but whenever you divide using this law of indices, you subtract the powers. So you're going to do 8, subtract 4, which is 4. Another example would be if you had w to the 9 divided by w to the 5. Again, you do 9 subtract four, uh, 5, which is 4, so you get w to the 4. And also you could have uh, something slightly different, so you could have um, x to the 3 divided by x to the 7. Well, 3 subtract 7, well that's minus 4, so you'd have x to the power of minus 4. Okay? Okay, and we're going to look at the third law, which is x to the power of a, and all of that to the power of b. As we say in Northern Ireland, a power of a power. So you're going to times the two powers together and you get x to the power of ab. Okay, so let's see why that's the case. So for instance, if you had something like a cubed and you... a... did a bit better. If you had a cubed squared, that means, remember squared means you times by itself. So you have to do a cubed times itself. So this means you're going to do a cubed times a cubed. Remember from law 1, you add the powers. So you do 3 plus 3, which would be a to the 6. Notice a quick way of doing that. So your answer is a to the power of 6. Notice a quick way of doing that is if you do 3 times 2, you get 6. So if you times the power and the power, you get your new power. So a to the power of 3 squared is a to the power of 6. Let's look at another example. If you had y to the power of 5 and that to the power of 3, then you times the powers, and you're going to get y to the power of 15. If you had something like um, w to the power of 4, and all of that to the power of um, minus 2, again, you times the powers, 4 times minus 2 would be minus 8, so it would be w to the minus 8. Okay. 